What's up guys, um, welcome back to another video. My name is Gus and this is Kelly Rebuildables. So, as you can see, I'm in the Mini. Let me show you guys. I'm in the Mini Countryman. And we are getting ready to get rid of the car, you know, we're about to sell it. But I wanna run a diagnostics on it, uh, making sure everything's okay. Um, I'll probably even print the print um all the the results out, you know, send them to my email and um, print them. That way, you know, the owner could have them, the new owner. Um, the car does not have a check engine light, um, but I still want to make sure everything's doing okay with the car. I know you guys um. <clears throat> Remember, I've been using a Carly for a while now for my BMWs and for the Mini also, but this Carly, but now I got a, a universal adapter. So, um, remember the one I used to have was white. I still have it, um, but now I got this one. We're going to see what this thing can do. Um, if you're a BMW owner or a Mini Cooper owner, like I said in my BMW video, this is something that you guys must have. Why? I mean, any any everybody should have a, like a like an OBD reader. Everybody should have. I mean, we're 2019. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure everybody has one. Uh, but still, there's some people that that are kind of um, afraid of Mini Coopers or BMWs. Like <clears throat> at least here where I'm from. Uh, when I had the 750, I took it to a couple shops and most of the shops, you know, told me that they don't want to, you know, get their hands on that car. They, I should take it to a dealer. Um, so if that happens to some of you guys, most likely you will end up taking it to a dealer. So, um, and run the diagnostics because, and, and diagnostics, um, are pretty expensive. They're, they're pretty expensive. I mean. If you're rebuilding cars, if you're messing around cars every now and then, then you will need a, a reader, you know, scanner, scanner pretty often. So especially for a Mini Cooper or a BMW or a Mercedes, a Volkswagen, Audi, all that stuff. Um, and they have an adapter for each one of those cars. So um, also if you're planning on coding your car, specifically, specifically right now a Mini, so you're gonna see me going into this thing, you know, adapting the car, uh, adapting this to the car. Then I'm gonna go into my application again and um, see all the things that we could do with this. But most important, what I wanna do is um, run the diagnostics on it. The right, because running a diagnostic, I mean, if you take it to a dealer, it's gonna be close to 100 bucks, maybe less, maybe a little bit over 100 bucks. Sometimes um, there's something with the car that that there's no check engine light you know something else that that um that's more hidden that only a dealer could um get to like a, like a, one of those diagnostic machines from the dealer um the only one that could go into their butt so if you need to re run a diagnostic every now and then this is the way to go guys um i'll leave a link for it i don't think it'll leave me a, i don't think youtube will let me leave a link somewhere up here but you will find the link on the, on the video description. Go down to the video description, hit the link, look for the adapter that you need, buy it if you need it, um, and then download the app. Um, so yeah guys, that's pretty much I have to say. Now let's get to connecting this thing. Okay, as you can see, I got no check engine light. Connect our scanner. So this one's gonna go somewhere around here. There we go. Yeah, you can see the red light flashing right there. So everything's okay. So now we're gonna go to the now we're gonna go to the app on my phone. So you won't be seeing my face, but you will be hearing my voice, guys. That way you could have the full screen of what's going on with the app and the car. So um, let's do that right now. Okay, guys. So I know I said you weren't gonna be able to see my face, but you are. Um, so as you can see right here, I'm moving. I have the Mini Cooper <coughs> 2014 gasoline R60. So that's my car. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and connect. 
Okay, so there we go. Now we're on the third step. Okay. So there we go. Um, so you right here on the, as you can see, it says fall prob probability, medium, mileage fraud, probability is very low, digital speedometer, recommended coding, and additional features. So for now we're gonna go and run the diagnostics. Continue to diagnostics. Okay, so let me move this for a bit. So as you can see, it says motor control is gonna check engine and motor, ABS disc, airbag, transmission control, instrument, heating, AC is gonna check all that guys. It's gonna check and what's pretty cool, you're gonna see right now, watch once I hit the, um, right here, as you can see, it says right where my photo set, it says other selected ECUs and faults. So um, we're going to go ahead and hit start diagnostics. And this is what you're gonna, they're going to do in the dealer anyways, guys. This is something they will do in the dealer. But check this out. Diagnostics in progress. Number of ECUs answered, 9 out of 13, 9 out of 14. And check what I like about this right here. It says the app checks more ECUs than your car's built-in ECUs to ensure. Oh man, he moved already. Um, but either way, it's gonna check more ECUs just to make sure they did a thorough um, diagnostics on your car. So everything right here, number of ECUs answered 20 and two faults. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Show faults. The system we got hitting AC fault and the system okay we're gonna go to reports please put your email here I'm gonna put my email address <clears throat> save email and this is your report guys this is your report um, Carly connected car official and this is in PDF guys so you could easily print this and take it to your shop or take it to anywhere and get done what needs to be done so there we go Carly found 20 control units two faults codes were detected okay so there we go this is your report engine motor okay no no fault everything seems to be okay let me make this thing smaller well, let me make it bigger so you guys could read it. So there we go. Heating AC, fault code 009C90. Fault explanation, control unit faulty. Potential, potential meter rear blowers. Left case, whatever that thing. Engine running DM1, DME1. So that's one of the codes, one of the faults. And then right here, tire pressure control. Fault code 00D115. So see, um, these codes will not, you know, um, trigger a check engine light. But that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with the car. So um, those are the two things that came out. Those are two faults that the Mini Cooper has, which really aren't that bad. Um, but either way, you can show this to the owner. That's a good um, diagnostics. And for this diagnostic, guys, you saved a lot of money. Why? Because with that a single diagnostic that you take to the dealer, you know, you could pay the Carly adapter and the Carly app. And you could even do this to your friends or even if you have a shop or stuff like that, you know. Uh, maybe you could even make money um, if you wanted to. I mean, you could go to Craigslist or um, Facebook store or whatever and just put an ad that you do diagnostics on BMWs and Minis charging maybe 20 30 bucks and i'm pretty sure you get a lot of money out of it but um that's not what i'm doing and let me know what you guys think about this there you go categorized a small class was diagnosed with carly on october 7 2019 so um i'm gonna go ahead and print this but okay guys so now i'm home i'm in front of my computer and i'm about to print the um the diagnostics so here we are
Okay guys, so I have all the information here already printed. And that's what you want so you could take it to your shop or or in my case give it to the new owner. So so yeah guys, let me know what you think about about this video, about the Carly app, about the adapter, everything. Um how the day and Austin came out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like if you liked the video, give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and um see you guys in the next one.